Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to share with you three pro secrets which you can apply to your game right now. Now, when we look at professional players play, it's amazing. They're phenomenal. If it was that easy, we would all do it. But of course, it's really difficult. So the purpose of this video is to give you some practical advice. I'm going to take a look at some things which professional players do, which I think can be incorporated into the game of any player at any standard. Okay, let's take a look at the first pro secret. This video is sponsored by the always brilliant Brybar Table Tennis. I get all of my equipment from Brybar, including the table that I have at home, my rubbers, training balls, clothing. So if you need any table tennis equipment, go to the Brybar website at brybartt.co.uk. Sorry. So that was some footage of me playing against um, professional players Paul Drinkle and Liam Pitchford. Now, their shots are amazing. So fast, so aggressive. But the thing that I want to highlight about what they were doing, which I think is entirely um, applicable to your own game, is where they were putting the ball, okay? As we look at this footage again, we can see how accurate they are at putting the ball towards the lines of the table, onto the backhand side, to the line of the table on the forehand side, or often just getting those shots into my crossover position, my hip, okay? Um, so, I've got some tape here. Let's think about this. Now, when I played with both Paul and Liam, um, they were just so good at hitting these three areas again and again and again. Yes, their shots were, were powerful, um, but they were just so well placed. So this is what you can do to your own game. If you're an attacking player, go for these attacks to these positions, keep varying it. But even if you're not an attacking player, even if you're a more defensive minded player, well, you know, you can still use your angles, you move your player out wide here, move your player out wide there, keep changing direction. It's such an effective tactic and anybody can do it. Whatever playing standard you are, even if you're just beginning, you can start to think about where you're putting the ball. So this is the, the first pro secret, which I think is really, um, which you can apply to any standard, which you can start using right now. Think about where you put the ball, try to improve your ball placement, get balls deep, get them wide, get them into the crossover and you will start winning more points. So here is some more footage of me getting completely walloped by Liam and Paul. Um, they're absolutely smashing the balls past me. Not a lot I can do. I'm just a bystander, um, hoping I can get my bat on the ball, which I rarely can. And it's fairly relentless. Which brings us on nicely to pro secret number two, which is to flatten your attacks. Hmm, now this is an interesting one. So when I played with both Liam and Paul, yeah, you know, they're, they're far, far superior players to me. But the thing which really struck out was just how flat a lot of their attacks were. I was expecting them to be so spinny that I just wouldn't be able to control their spin. But that wasn't the case. It was just their shots were so direct, so low over the net, and just so hard and flat. 
and it made it just so difficult to get anywhere near them. And I asked Liam about this. I said, Liam, you know, how comes a lot of your attacks are, are quite flat? And, you know, his view was with the, the bigger ball, the 40 plus ball, it's, it's much harder to dominate at the professional level with, you know, spin. So at the professional level, everything's become much more aggressive and the shots have become flatter because spin is not quite as effective. Now there is more risk here because the ball's gonna go lower over the net, but I think with practice, this is entirely possible. And certainly if, if you're getting into more of a, you know, open top spin top side of, type of rally and, and the ball's just sitting up a little bit, well, there's plenty of scope here just to flatten out your attack. Um, and play with a bit more aggression. Now, when I played with um, Liam and Paul, it, you know, it wasn't a completely slap of the ball. There was still some spin on the ball, um, but it's more of oh, what I might call a bit of like a top spin drive. There's a bit of brush, but plenty of hit as well. And that makes sure you get that little bit of clearance over the net, but then the ball comes through very fast and very deep. So have a little think about your own game and a think about opportunities where you might just flatten out your attacks a little bit more. Um, and you may find that you start hitting um, far more aggressive shots, which are really hard to return. Here's some more footage of me playing with Paul and Liam. And in this footage, I am trying to return their serves. And as you can see, I'm finding it a little bit difficult. I'm making plenty of errors. And this leads us on nicely to pro secret number three, which is all about service variation. Now, when I played with um, both Paul and Liam, I think I was expecting to be completely bamboozled by some crazy looking serves and some mega spin. But again, that isn't what really happened. Um, both Paul and Liam have, you know, fairly conventional service actions. What I found really difficult was how well they were able just to make subtle variations with the service action. So, you know, I found it really difficult to read whether it was backspin or float or a little bit of topspin. And because the, the, these variations were so subtle, you know, it makes it really hard to see. And I think this is something which you can apply to your own game. Have a little think about how you serve and how you can make little variations, changing it Backspin, no spin, a little bit of top spin, same thing here. Backspin, no spin, a little bit of top spin. And you should start to find that your opponent finds your serves much harder to read. And when they become a bit uncertain, they're not quite sure, then they get a bit more passive. And then, you know, you can win tons and tons of cheap points. So in summary, there is an awful lot which professional players do, which is amazing. Um, and of course we would love to replicate what they could do, but you know, it's really hard. They train 20, 30 hours a week. Um, they're completely dedicated to sport. They're wonderful athletes. So, um, but I think there are things which they do, which we can replicate in our own Games and the three that I have shown you ball placement, flattening out some of your attacks, and using lots of subtle service variations. These are all things that you could do, and I think if you get good at them, then it's going to add more points onto your game, and you'll be playing just a little bit more like a professional player. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll have plenty more videos coming soon um, or take a look at one of these other videos. See you all again soon. Bye bye.